Hello my little all babies and welcome back to another video. On today's video we are going to be setting up an enclosure for a locust cricket. In this video we are going to explain how to sex a locust cricket, how to feed a locust cricket and how to give it water. And we're also going to delve into pros and cons of owning them. So if you have an insectophobia please click off now. So here are the pros and cons of owning locusts and insects all together as pets. Con, there is no fence for insects. And that's me being serious. Nobody will take your insect and try and fix it. I am sorry to let you know that, but this is how the world works. There is no insect specialist fence out there for your insects. So if it has a broken leg or has a limb missing, the best thing is to either let it go on with the, the rest of its life. But if it is suffering in your eyes by not eating, not drinking, then euthanization is the best way to go. And you need to do research on that yourselves. Pro, they're a lot easier to take care of than, in, than any other animal or any other pet. They don't do a lot of defecating or peeing around their enclosures. They're pretty cleansly in that way, depending on your insect. Some insects will actually clean themselves, especially the biro, she's dung beetles are special and good for that because they do eat their own feces. Con, do not overcrowd, especially with crickets and locusts and grasshoppers because they are very territorial towards one and each other, especially males and females. I learned that the hard way. Pro, they are better for the environment because they don't eat that much they don't really do that much to destroy or impact the world unless they're set free in mass quantities that's the only time they can actually become a threat but not if they are in your house when they die you can easily bury them in a plant pot or in the ground but never flush them down the toilet, please. Con, there's not a lot of information on insects and locusts in general because they are pretty much people don't want to do any discovery on them unless they are professionals. But even then, the research on the internet is pretty low. What are the best enclosures for hoppers and crickets? So if you're getting one or two locusts, small hamster cages and plastic containers are right up your alley. But you will need to do modifications to both. One, you'll need to try and stop them from getting out of their tubs. To say, because you really don't want to be running around trying to catch a locust. And that's in my opinion. I've had to do this several times. But if you're getting the numbers between 4, 5 and upwards, then these cages are up your alleyway, but they're going to cost a lot more money. How to sex your cricket. This could be difficult because right now in the UK they've had to recall the adult crickets back for reproducing purposes. So we are stuck with the juveniles and the juveniles are hermaphrodites, which means they don't know their the maturity until they're mature, if you get what I mean. 
and even then sometimes you can even get it confused and mixed up so right now this is my juvenile cricket locus and as you see it is pretty hard to tell because normally you can tell at the abdomen area but right now you can't because it's still far too young and it counts as both sexes right now this is Skyrim and this is the reason why I give it a unisex name because it is very difficult at this age. And as you can see by its antennae, it is a longhorn. I've had short horns in the past before as you will see on screen. Here's me cleaning out my cricket's enclosure to stop any bacteria from harming it. I recommend buying these little containers for the lids of food bowls and water bowls. Please make sure to have like puppy mats in the lower areas where it can hide and be safe in. And these are the containers that I'm going to put one for food and one for water in. So I'm just going to go and set that up now and I'm going to explain what type of food you can give locust crickets. When you are getting pet food, make sure you go to a pet shop that sells this. I get this from Pets for Home. This is brilliant for your crickets and it has all their dietary needs in it. You could also give them lettuce and greens coming for water um, buy this gel because if they drink water there is a high chance that they will drown themselves but please keep in mind after using this and the other thing please wash your hands and always remember to read the guidelines on the back of these things I am telling you to wash your hands is because what is in these is very toxic towards us and other animals in the house. So please make sure you wash your hands beforehand and wash your hands after. As you can see on the back it tells you what you need to know. Since that's out of the way here's its food and gel bowl. These will go into the cage or your enclosure. And there you go, you have a happy cricket. But please keep in mind to not have their enclosure near windows. If you want to give them lighting, I would recommend getting either heat lamps or UV lights for them. But don't have the lights on constantly because it can kill them early on. Also... Please keep in mind that locust crickets and hoppers only last this long in their life, so I'm sorry. This video is in memory of my first cricket, Little Luna. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you want to know more about locust crickets and hoppers comment if you are an insect owner if you want to join my spaceship hit the subscribe button and user orbsum awesome.